Hey everyone and Happy New Year! First mukbang of 2018 and hopefully uh, you will get it before January 2nd. <laughs> it is 12.39 in the afternoon so this is lunch so hopefully if I don't have to do a whole lot of edits uh, you'll get it before hopefully by 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. Um, that's what I'm shooting for. What I have for you today, oh I did a close-up and I will put it in right here. Yeah, doesn't that look good? It is red, red lentils, and uh, ch I put just chicken croissants because of the title, but it's chicken and pepper jack cheese croissants that the daughter made with puff pastry and some salt and pepper uh, tomato wedges. I will assume salt, pepper, onion, and garlic powder. No, just, just salt and pepper? Okay, just salt and pepper this time. I like it like that. I like when she does the other, but um, she's like... If I, if I cook something, will you mukbang it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I should have mukbanged her breakfast that woke me up. It was um, a omelet. Bell peppers, onions, and some black forest ham we had. So, And what I have here is some Shut Up Mona. What I'm going to try this year, because, you know, I love my sodas and I try to be good. So this is the smaller one. I think this is like the 8-ounce bottles. They were on sale, and, and I knew they were smaller than the big bottles. But they're... Uh, the smaller version so because <coughs> sometimes I feel like having two bottles of soda so I figure if I go this small and I have two that's still only technically one instead of having two of the big ones and so far it's working so how was everybody's new year before I ask you that Um, yeah, let me just ask you that. <laughs> I always wanted to tell you, you would have already seen a screenshot of the, of the Fit and Lively packet that you make this lentils from. Is it soup? Okay, because it, it doesn't look soupy from here, but she gave me a lot of lentils, but in the close-up, you would have seen some of the juice, and I've been letting this cool, so it's not lava, so I think the lentils are absorbing a little bit, but, um, of the lentils that she got at Aldi's, still part of the uh, pantry challenge, she found those. And um, the how to make them are on the back of the package. And I may or may not have put the two pictures in. So uh, if I did, because, you know, I won't know until I actually get into it because my daughter has to email me the photos. So how is everybody's new year? Let me just get into this. Let's try these first. I've never had red lentils. I, we've always just had the brown lentils because that's what my mom does. Not bad. Not bad at all. Almost tastes like the brown lentils. These just look smaller. <clears throat> Carrots. You were just seeing close up, but I'll do this. Mmm, right? Mmm, 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 mmm. So it snowed a little last night. My daughter was excited. I was too tired to get back up. She's like, come on here with me. I don't know. Just tell me all about it. <laughs> so she got a handful of snow and brought it out. As of like 10 o'clock this morning, I think that's when I got up. No, 8 o'clock this morning when I got up. Y'all, 
10 hours of sleep. I can't believe it. I mean, I got up twice to go to the restroom, but I was able to come back to bed and go to sleep almost right away. So thank goodness for that. But this morning when I got up about 8 and we were having breakfast, I had asked the kid, you know, do we still have snow? And of course, she would have seen it letting the dogs out. And she goes, it's still a little bit on the ground. In the grass. So... I think it got down to a wind chill factor of 17, 15, something like that this morning. I think that's what she told me. Minus seven or seven? Yeah, wind chill of seven. That's that's like cold for Texas, y'all. <laughs> Some people probably um, broke out the Alaska gear. <laughs> Oh, that's how Texans roll. Mm. I hope these, I try to let them cool off because, you know, these are like pizza pockets. So let's dig in. Mmm. I don't think I got a visual of the inside. Mmm. She diced up some, um, the Black Forest ham, the deli ham. And some pepper jack cheese and made croissants out of some those that pepperidge farm puff pastry yep mm, mm. I would have been crispier but I had to let them cool I didn't want to burn my lips <laughs> mm. I'm feeling a lot better y'all so I'm hoping even though the kids going to school, oh, I'm going to school. <laughs> you're back in school kid <laughs> Even though she's going to school now every day, I'm hoping that I can at least put something together during the day. Um, try to get on some kind of regular schedule, either vlogging or mukbanging. I've really missed filming and y'all have been so patient. So, hopefully I can do that. I see my umbrella. <laughs> That's my wonderful um, lighting. <laughs> hey, it's the same material just about as those expensive umbrellas. And man, those things, I looked into those. Mm -mm. It's a plain white. And it's got the old fashioned hook, so I just hooked it. It kind of mutes the, the light, so it's not a glare. I did not back here. This is a big old ham bone. Can you get a little mini ham bun? <laughs> I know. My dog burnt out with ham. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Got a lot of good comments on my uh, fibro video. I think I'm going to... Instead of adding it into like the regular schedule, you know, because I know y'all like my mukbangs and not everybody is a fibro patient. Uh, didn't get as many views as my other videos, but that's, that's understandable. It's a specific video aimed at a specific audience. You know what I mean? So I might add those in extra, but I, I really want to continue to do um, more fibro um, videos. Y'all said it's helpful, and so, excuse me, since I've gone over the, um, the big symptoms of fibro, whoo, you should have snuck chaga in my coffee. <laughs> I really am feeling better, y'all. <laughs> uh, I want to go to some of the more weird ones, you know. People going, what? 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 What's you know? What the hell was that? I thought of one this morning, and now it went out of my head again. It's like a really weird one, and people are like, what? why is this happening to me? So if I blurt a symptom out, then that's because I remembered, and I don't want to forget again. But. Mm. 
Mm. You ate some, right? Isn't that good? Yeah. Mm. Take a dozen of these. <laughs> Glad y'all had fun with me and Sarge in our live the other day. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. Oh, it was by accident. We decided to have coffee together, and then coffee, she took me to this really mom-and-pop Texas-style diner. And we decided to have supper there, or lunch, late lunch, dinner, about 4 o'clock dinner. And she had this really cool... It's like a bacon cheeseburger, but it had three pieces of bread and had the actual burger in the two pieces and then above it was bacon. It just looked really good and I had a chicken fried steak sandwich. Kind of like the dude from the Dairy Queen, my Dairy Queen video. It was real good. And then she's like, you want to come home, hang over at the house? And I'm like, sure. Then we're sitting there and I'm like, hey. I said, when are we going to do our next Together video for your channel? She goes, how about right now? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Let's do it. So that's how that happened. I already did that, but I gotta do it again because it's good. Mm. How to, um, <clears throat> I was telling you we had a crab boil. Man. But my hands were hurting, so I couldn't eat that much. It was hard to crack open those <clears throat> crab shells, which is usually not a problem, but <sighs> so my daughter grabbed a bunch of leftovers from there and depending on how much is left I may do another video tonight depending on if we're uh, if she's you know wanting to heat stuff up and I'm not wanting to throw the laptop across the room because uploading is taking too long Hmm. Yes. Remember I got the Christmas card from, from Bella and she had sent me a picture of her daughters and granddaughters. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to show it, so I chose not to. But then in one of the lives I showed it. I want to show it again because not a lot of people can catch me live because I usually never know when I'm going to go live so I don't normally announce it ahead of time, you know? Sorry about that, but I'm so reliable because of my fibro that I, I hate if I say I'm going to do it and then I can't. So I'm going to put it up here. Hopefully it's not too glary. Aren't these little girls the cutest? Look at that. That is a beautiful family. I just kept wanting and I said, oh, next video, I'm going to, next video, I'm going to put the next video. Okay, yeah, so I saw it when I was doing this and, um, yeah. We're watching, it's muted now, but it's a long video. Um, the Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, uh, Desolation of Smog. Smile. 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 Okay. Well, I just got the look again. Hey, right. I tried. Oh, there's the five armies. Not the desolation of smog. We just got through watching the desolation of smog. Well, not five armies. This is afterwards. I guess.
think I'm still full from them. Look at that omelet. You know, three egg omelet. It was big enough to look like a five egg omelet. <laughs> it was good, y'all. And then I have my homemade salsa. I managed to get a little bit because I gave some to everybody for Christmas because that's what we could afford. And it went over well. They, they, I don't think they really would have wanted everything else. But they're all, I asked last night at the crab boil, so who has salsa left? And my little sister goes, we've just got a little bit left. We've been putting it on everything. <laughs> so I threw some on my, well, I must have been mad when I made it. That stuff was hot. But that's how they like it. And I usually, because my salsa is cooked, <clears throat> my, my salsa starts in a unique way. And part of what goes in the pan is whole jalapenos. I grind some up to go in the salsa, but whole jalapenos. And they get nice and charred and stuff. And I try to, especially when I make it for the family, to put at least one whole jalapeno in each one of their containers of sauce. Then they all fight about who gets it in each family. <laughs> My daughter is currently drooling over Legolas, which is, I forgot his real name, but he's like really famous, but he's like the popular elf. Yeah. She don't need words, just to, she just wants to look at him. She'll probably just pause on him. <laughs> then I look up and I see an ugly orc. Flip side, I'm sorry I didn't stay long in your live. I just happen to look down because I get notifications. I try to keep my phone handy. That's how I keep up with people's comments. Because I'll look down and if I see somebody commented, it just, even if I'm with family, it takes me three minutes, three seconds. You know, I open it up, read it, and then answer it. And I saw that you were live and I already sat at the table and I always get looks from some of my family. Like, yeah, the fat chick's at the dinner table first, just waiting on the food, but because I'm big, if I get stuck in the middle, then I push people out and it's uncomfortable for everyone. So I try to get the, the, you know, the seat at the end of the table so, you know, people can spread out. That's a whole nother issue. But so I'm sitting there and I'm looking at my phone and I see that you're live. Well, I wanted to jump right in and say hi, at least to everybody. So I'm pretty sure you did, but I hope you had a good life. Don't, don't tell her I gave her a good compliment that I know Sarge was in the room, so I know y'all had a good time. Shh. She'll get a big head if she hears it. Although, my Cowboys beat her Eagles yesterday. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I haven't gone on her Facebook and bragged about it yet. <laughs> hmm. That, remember I kept wanting to show you that? That is... The baker's rack that we got from Amazon. <clears throat> it was really expensive. This was months ago. Remember when we told you we were going to get it? Look, I have the stack of napkins on top of this container, but here is the, the napkin holder that's empty. <laughs> anyway, she kept an eye on it and kept an eye on it. And, and Amazon, I don't know if it's just any Amazon or Amazon Prime. She got notification of it. I was back in the beginning of the summer. <laughs> And uh, she got notification, and it was it just so happened. No, it, and it happened to be she was out of town, so she warned me. She says, Mom, it's coming. <laughs> so I just got it and shoved it off to the side, and she put it back together. But it's pretty organized, except for that little thing right there. And I showed you that in a, um Ikea haul, little containers. But this is where all our mukbang dishes go so we know where they are there's my kimchi pot the second one i think is in the dishwater still and that right there is that cast iron pot that i showed y'all in an aldi haul that i wouldn't have bought had i known what was coming but and then we put like plates in there and some storage containers so 
Oh, I'm so ready. And I never thought I'd say this. I'm so ready for all these snacks to be the hell out of this little house. We brought so many pastries home, especially my mother's German pastries, homemade. Spritz cookies and all of that, coconut macaroons. Liebkuchen, which is, um, it's kind of like a mix between gingerbread and fruitcake in a cookie. But it's good tasting fruitcake. My daughter doesn't like it, so I'm thinking, yeah, more for me than that. But, y'all, I, I have no self-control. If it's in the house, I will eat it. I already know. So that's why me and the kid try to keep it out of the house. You know, out of sight, out of mind. Because if it's in the house, I will eat it. And I, oh my God, I've been snarking it down. I just, it's terrible. And I'm sure the flair I had from the stress of banana that attributed to it because I wasn't eating well. So, my daughter's glad to hear I can't wait till the stuff gets in the house. And I ain't giving it back. It's in the house. <laughs> and I just did a video for Fibro saying, eat good, eat well. But it is true. But I also did say people fall short. So, we almost got all the stuff in. There's a, um, a cookie. It's round. And it's rolled in powdered sugar. And it's called... Pfeffernus <clears throat> cookie. And in German, that means peppernut. And it's really good. It's really good. And she loves it. They're hard as hell. So you really have to eat them with like coffee. I don't dunk, but you just eat them and they, and you sip coffee. <clears throat> and because of those are her favorite. I can't say that I'll stay away from them 100%, but I won't eat a whole lot of them because I know that my mom packed them for her. So Unless she puts them in her bag and takes them to work every day. <laughs> I'm getting the side glance, which means that's probably what's fixing to happen. I don't blame her. <laughs> Do we ever see if you want him come and claim him chick in this movie? Okay, I didn't think. I didn't think. I don't remember seeing her in there. I liked her. I love that my favorite part. When she's saving, what's his name? And she says, if you want him, come and claim him. Mm. It's one of my favorite lines in the Lord of the, Lord of the Rings movie. I have to verify. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm so full. How many minutes? Mm? 21 minutes, not too bad. White numbers, white plates, so I had a... <laughs> I will probably finish that off camera in about 20 minutes because I'm full. What boo? -boo? That's cuteness, but no. Ooh. The pepper comes out in the last one. The other ones were cheesy and a little warm, but this one? Ooh. You gotta have a little spice in your life, right? Well, the spices are really good. I know why the Koreans have this saying that when you're stressed or upset to eat some spicy food. I've heard that in two videos now. Because when you eat chili, something that's really spicy, while you sweat, your body puts off, I don't know if it's the same thing as they say when you work out, the natural sedatives or pain relievers, but it's like the happy endorphins. That's what I'm looking for. So it's good for you to try to, and they put them out there so that you it'll cool off. Oh. I don't know why I know that, because I'm not Korean, but I knew that. <laughs> oh. That was rude. I exhaled and I'm gonna have to edit that out. Maybe, no, I'm not gonna edit that out because it happens. But I apologize that it happened. Something else, anything else I wanted to say? I know I didn't do an end of the year quick video. So, uh, 
I just want to wish y'all a great new year. I hope it's going to be a great new year with me in it. I love having y'all in my life. I enjoy doing this video. I thank you for this last year sticking with me and putting up with me and supporting me in every way a person can support someone. Um, and I thank you for that, for understanding situations and understanding that it's just my day-to-day -day life. That's why I don't like to pre-record because these videos happen as, my, you know, the timeline's the same as my life happens. That's what I've always wanted for this channel. So that's why I talk about my life, even if it's not so happy and funny, you know, because that's life, you know, especially with a fibro warrior. All your days aren't going to be good. They're just not. So, but y'all make them real. It looks like my hair's receding differently, right? It's, but it's the light because my hair's so fancy. There's the hair. But anyway, <clears throat> God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind, and I will talk to y'all real soon, okay? Bye.